Hey everyone and welcome to my monoreal camp build. I hope you guys all enjoy. I did do this build on a live stream so some of you will have seen it already but I had to make it into a video. This build took me absolutely ages. I had to knock it down about four times because I wasn't happy with it or I glitched into something and I couldn't delete anything. But then I found this cool way of doing it which was a lot easier which allowed me to delete anything I want and change anything I want. I hope you all enjoy, if you do please leave a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't already. Hey everyone and welcome to my monoreal camp build. Many of you would have been in the streams which I recently did where I was actually streaming myself build this camp which was something new which I think I've only done once before and when I did it before the camp build didn't actually turn into a video. So this is the first time I've actually streamed me creating a build for an actual video. So if you enjoyed that guys and you were in them streams, let me know in the comments down below if you want to see more of them type of streams and stuff. So you can see what I'm building when I'm doing it rather than me just doing it in my spare time privately. But yeah, it was really fun. A lot of you guys helped out, which I'm very appreciative of. It was very nice you guys to help out and come pop into the streams and stuff. So thank you very much for everyone that did. So this is it. If you want to know where the monorail is, if you want to build here, it's right there just to the left of the monorail elevator. If you look up, there is White Springs. So it's just like south east of that, just down there, just near Watoga. So if you want to do this as well, guys, I really advise to use these stairs here, the single type of staircase. If you use the other ones, which is like two foundations wide, it's an absolute nightmare trying to stack them and build up to there. It glitches out everything and you can't delete floors and walls after you've placed them. Whereas if you use this single flight staircase and just build them up like that, everything you put place down you can delete. So that is absolutely spot on. I kept it nice and simple out the front here as you can see with the oil lamps and three foundation blocks here. Obviously I put up YouTube day to day game and just because you know you gotta shout yourself out in the wasteland. Up here I put these statues here which I thought was a nice touch next to the open sign. I have to use a rug to get them onto there otherwise you place them and they disappear. On the left we have mounted creatures with some flowers and the nice vault statue. The candles are in the flower pots as well guys to give it a nice little lighted up thing there. Now heading into the inside we've got these nice industrial looking tables here with a display case and a weapons display on the left hand side. I put up as many posters as I thought necessary and I kept this build as industrial looking as possible which a lot of you guys agreed with was the best way to do it. Here now is the big like archway that goes in between the monorail and it fits so perfectly. We use the triangle walls right here to like corner it off and it just fits really satisfyingly in my opinion. Up above you, just above the entrance, you have the bedroom and this lovely thing here on the floor which isn't meant to be there, but hey, never mind. I placed that originally on one of them tables and it disappeared and it literally only just appeared as coming up the stairs, so that's that's just lovely. But yeah, this is the bedroom, I think it's really simple, nice industrial looking and I like it a lot. It fits in nice, you haven't got, you've got a little bit of a view, you can, you can have a peek out and stuff just there. And then coming down, we have a nice little desk on the left hand side with a rug on the table as well to make it feel like a type of computer mat type of thing. And we got this nice kitchen area. I kept the sink on the opposite side because although the sink is so great that it's an actual functioning sink, it doesn't match anything in my opinion. I'm yet to find something that actually matches this type of cowboy I don't know, whatever you want to call it, like farmhouse sink type of thing. But yeah, that we need some stuff to match it, please Bethesda. Over here we got the American flag with the Christmas lights above it. Although they are Christmas lights, I think they fit in on every occasion, in my opinion. Yeah, that is the inside there. Also, look at how perfect the roof fits in just there. Look, it literally goes into it, which is absolutely fantastic. I couldn't fit triangle walls in there, so I had to leave it open, same on the other side. Unfortunately, the fit was too tight and it didn't fit in. Coming out of the back, we added in a nice like, balcony type of thing, where I placed two vendors, a cooking station, a lovely park bench here. And then over on the far side, we have all of your crafting equipment, which you need. But obviously, if you want to add the brewing stations in and stuff, and you want to copy this build, then fair enough, you can add them in wherever you feel you could add them into the kitchen. I've done that a lot. It works out really well. 
and then finally we head up these stairs right here which takes us up to this lovely nice chill area now we got all the musical stuff here and i got the shout from ratty which said put a fire down on the floor like a campfire but i didn't like the idea of that because we had to put rugs down to flatten this off so stuff wasn't floating so i put down the fire barrel instead which i think just looks awesome everyone playing around the campfire and um, it's pretty cool and obviously you've got the little plushie here just to add a little character to it which i know that but that is it for this build guys i hope you all enjoyed um i really enjoyed doing it the streaming side of it was really fun i hope you guys enjoyed uh, playing along with me and helping me build this in the stream so that was really cool and i'm going to do that again in the future for the next camp build as well as well as obviously other live streams in between too but yeah i really enjoyed it hope you guys did too if you did smash a like on the video if you haven't subscribed yet then please consider doing so and look at that view fantastic i still have build budget left as well so i could add to stuff as well but yeah, at the moment, I really enjoy it. I use the floor here for the wiring. Put all the wiring's under there, then pops up, connects to the vendor. But yeah, this is it. I think we did an absolutely smashing job here. I think it's brilliant. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed. And I will catch you next time. Goodbye.